It was March 1994 when we travelled to the Netherlands to spend time with a 17-year-old Clarence Seedorf. Back then, the teenager, who would go on to become one of the finest soccer players of his generation, lived with his parents and younger brothers on the outskirts of Amsterdam. At this stage in his career, he'd already signed a professional contract with top Dutch team Ajax. Clarence's bedroom was a shrine to the team he'd supported since his childhood, not to mention 90s pin-up girl, Sidney Crawford. One of the first things that young Sadov told us was of his joy at being an Ajax player. I was 10 years old when I went to the trials. All I ever wanted to do was play for Ajax. It was my dream. So I went along and there were three rounds of trials. And after the third one, I was chosen to play for them. Clarence developed rapidly as a player within Ajax's famed youth academy, and he made his first team debut at 16. One year on, and the 17-year-old midfielder was on the verge of securing a regular place in the Ajax team. His performances had already impressed many, and even back then there were rumours of Italian scouts checking him out. In 1994, the Ajax first team was loaded with talent. The starting 11 included the likes of Clarence's boyhood hero, Frank Reichardt, the De Boer brothers, Juan Cuocanu, and Edgar Davids. I have to make a name for myself here at Ajax first, before I can think of playing abroad and being a star. Seydorf's level-headed approach to the game, allied with an impeccable technique and versatility, were the things that caught our eye. <laughs> and such qualities convinced Ajax's director of youth coaching at the time that the club had a very special talent on their hands. Clarence, uh... Clarence is only 17 years old, and he's already played for the first team and in a European Cup game. But to reach his potential, I think that he needs two or three years more experience of top-level football. He has great skills. His body is very strong. His mind's very strong. He's the prototype of a multifunctional player. He can play on the left side, the right side, as an attacker or as a defender. And he's great with both feet. Aside from football, we learned that the most important thing in the 17-year-old's life was his family. Clarence was born in the former Dutch colony of Suriname, but grew up in the Netherlands, along with his younger brothers. The Seedorfs have always been a close-knit family, and that was very apparent during the time that we spent with them. Family comes first with me always. They will always be there for me. At the moment, there are many people who want to have some influence on me and on my game. But I have my family around me to look after them. At this time, Clarence's brothers, 13-year-old Jürgen and 11-year-old Cedric, were also on Ajax's books. Dad Johan hoped that one day all three of his sons would play in the same Ajax team. However, Jürgen and Cedric wouldn't become as good as Clarence. Johan would go on to become Clarence's agent, and 22 years ago, he was well aware of his son's tremendous potential. It's the dream of all sportsmen to reach the top of their sports. In Clarence's case, this would mean becoming a regular starter in the Dutch national team. If he keeps on doing his best, then I think that he'll achieve this in the next two years four at the very maximum, but he will make it. The 17-year-old Clarence Seedorf that we met back in 1994 was unaffected by the buzz and excitement that was beginning to surround him. He was a polite, likeable, normal teenager who just happened to possess an extraordinary footballing ability. I really hope that I can reach my full potential, and I guess we'll just have to see how good that will be. Clarence became one of the most decorated players in European football. 
He won four European Cups, one with Ajax, one with Real Madrid and two with AC Milan. He's the only player to have won club football's most prestigious trophy with three different clubs and he represented the Netherlands on over 80 occasions.